Hello and welcome to the introduction of our CODIC system. This is the software used to capture jobs for MS Car Service and to send it to the drivers. You will start the system by either pressing the on the start button, you'll find a CPAC operator, or you may have it on the bottom of your toolbar here. By pressing that button, it'll go into your CODIC system. You will be given a username. At the moment, we'll be using training with the password of training as well. This is how you're going to get into the system itself. Ignore this at the moment. This is just to show you that there is some internal mail waiting for you. We will discuss that later. OK, you will notice that we have two screens. The top screen, which is this bit here, and then a bottom screen here. Each screen has got different tabs where you can fulfill different functions. The core booker is where we actually take on the jobs. The important things that you would need otherwise would be the queues, which shows you where the drivers are and where the jobs are waiting. And we have some information on drivers. The bottom screen you will mainly use for jobs and the information. Now let's have a look first of all the jobs and the information on the jobs. Up here in this menu we can choose what type of jobs we want to look for. As a telephonist typically you'd be using you'd be wanting to look at the undispatched jobs which then gives you an idea of what jobs are outstanding. At the moment the screen is empty because there's no jobs outstanding. You can see jobs coming in and out which means they come on quickly and immediately they're being given out by the system to the next driver. To make it a bit easier, we can look at the jobs firing in the next hour. That gives you a bit of an idea of what's, what is happening in MS. So on the bottom here, we've got the jobs which are have been booked earlier on, which are ready to go out soon. Let's take, for example, the top line. We have a job. It's a job number. It's a cash job. The state of the job is waiting because it hasn't. it's waiting to be ready to go out. It's too early for it. We have attributes, what type of car or driver need, is needed on this job. The time it's booked for, the fire time, the system works out how long before do I actually have to send the job out so it gets there on time. We have the due time, which shows us quick at a glance in nine minutes that job needs to be done. In other words, the driver's got to be there nine minutes. We have the name of passenger, pickup address, the pickup postcode, drop-off, etc. We have a whole lot of information on here and we can very easily decide which fields we do and don't want to be seen on there. But that's for a later stage. For example, we can see it job now on the third line here is not in a cash a cash job it's an account job on account y10 and it's going 845 from Yatva is at nine hours park somewhere and comes back again to Yatva is you can see here a wr means a wait and return so it's going from one address somewhere else and coming back we can go up into the system, into the job itself, we can see exactly what the information, what the information is on that job. So here down, down here we have information on the jobs are due to go out. Up here we've got all our drivers. So for example, if you want to have a look at what is happening right now in MS, let me just customate the screen a little bit so it's easily to understood. We have here at the moment in Clapton, which is the top line here, we have some green cars, some blue cars, etc. So let me explain to you exactly how this works. We have broken down in MS the local area into various sections. We call them plots. We've got Clapton, Lampard Hill, Egerton, Amherst Park and Fairhold. Those are our local plots. We then have things like Manor House, Seven Sisters, we have Ingolders Green, Leaside area, Ravens Cross area, we have Hendon South, Hendon North, etc. At the moment, all you're seeing are the plots where we actually either have drivers sitting there 
or jobs waiting to go out. The other plots are not interesting at the moment. Per plot, you can see how many vehicles are in the plot. Here we can see there's five vehicles in the plot. Two of them are green, some are red, some are pink, and you see this changes constantly. The green indicates an empty car. The red car is busy. The yellow car is soon to clear, almost empty. The pink car is on the way to the customer. The blue car indicates he is outside the pickup address. And sometimes you see gray cars like by MS152, which means he's on a break. We can hover our mouse anywhere over any of the drivers and it gives, me, gives us the information about the driver, his driver number, the vehicle he's driving and various attributes which are linked to this driver. Now, attributes are things like how experienced is the driver? Is he a bronze car, silver, gold or platinum car? So obviously platinum being a very experienced driver and we can have a reliable driver. A driver can be a lady driver or we have attributes which pertain to the actual cars. Is it an estate car, a six or seven seater? Is it a low car? Sometimes we need low cars for elderly people. They don't want to go into seven seaters, etc, etc. So, by just hovering over there, we can see all the information. For example, here, we have MS86, in brackets you've got his name. We can see what vehicle he's driving. And his attributes are, ignore the first few, they're not important. But, suffice it to say that he can do airport pickups, he can do weight and return jobs, he's a bronze car, he is a low car. He's a male driver, he can do parcels, so it, can show, it shows us exactly what the driver is doing. What our system is doing, it tries to marry a job from down here with a driver up here. So therefore, it's checking in what area the job is due, and do I have a car there? And is the type of car that I need actually available? And then it would automatically just fire the job against the drivers. If we just go back quickly into all undispatched jobs, you can see at the moment we have four jobs which are waiting to go out. And if you have a look, for example, here, this one is light blue, this one is light blue. In other words, MS13 is being given a job right now, and as soon as he actually receives it on the on his PTA, on his computer, it disappears off here. If we wait just another minute, the same should happen with the next job. In other words, here, for example, we have jobs waiting in the Fairhold area. Bethune Road, Father Lodge and Burkhall Crescent. Unfortunately, in Amherst Park and Fairhold area, we don't have any cars empty right now. So those jobs will be sitting until I get the car empty in that area. 62 Elm Park Avenue, that's in Egerton, has just been given to a driver, 231, who is in Hill, but near enough to Elm Park Avenue so that he can do that job. The importance of the telephonist is to take the job with all the correct details so that the system can then distribute the jobs to the right driver at the right time.